Hey guys! I am super excited today to tell you about two new neat extensions. So the first one is a waiting room. So I know this has been a big issue for a lot of teachers that um, students going in and out of meets um, when you're not there. So I'm going to show you how to use that. So I'm going to pop out of this meet. I'm going to close it out. So the extension looks like this. It is called Google Meet Waiting Room. So there's just one little tricky thing about it. So um, since you own the meeting, look, clicking on the link will not work for you as a teacher. All right. Um, you need to just use the code. And this doesn't matter how you create the meet. If you do it through a calendar, if you do it old school style, the trick here is clicking on the code. So what I did was I simply just copied my meet code. I popped over into an empty email and I copied the tail end. Now once you have the tail end, I mean you can keep this saved somewhere for easy reference. And then I'm going to pop over to Google Meet from my app menu and join or start a meeting. So I'm starting it with the nickname code versus the whole link. So now I am the owner of this meeting. Okay, so I'm not going to join yet because I want to show you what it looks like from a student perspective. So here, pop in the browser. Oh, when I come in, notice it said waiting for host. I am not actually in the room yet, right? I'm outside the room. So because I have not joined as the host, my students cannot join either. So once I join, now my student can join. See, there we go. So now I can. Now we're going to get all the reader. All right, so I'm going to hang up on that one. <laughs> and back over to this one, because this will also show you the next extension. Look at my bottom bar. How amazing is this? I actually like this hand raise better than the knot extension, but if you teach younger grades, you might really like having the thumbs up um, and the wow. So this would be, you know, up to you and, and your Google admin. Um, you can have this for students. You would need to still have that though if you want students to use it. And then you can have this just on yours, right? Because the other thing it has is the whiteboard. Okay, so there's good news, bad news with the whiteboard. Good news, it's easy to get. Bad news, you do still have to present your screen before students will be able to see that. So I don't think that's that big a deal, but it is a step. So I'm presenting the screen, and now I'm gonna cut on my whiteboard. So as you can see there, the student will be able to see the whiteboard once it's presented. Um, so as you can see, um, it works pretty easily for, for presenting your whiteboard. I still, still prefer Jamboard better. I think it has more options. But this isn't bad for a quick, just to have at your, your fingertips for a quick, oh, let me just do this whiteboard thing. You're not prepared to do a whiteboard. But just remember to present first. Um, it's a little tricky because it's in here. You think that the student would be able to see it, but you do have to still present your screen, even though you're doing the whiteboard. So overall, I think these two extensions are really helpful. Um, they're new, so we're still learning a lot about them, but I think these can make great additions to your Google Meet. And as always, stay calm with that e-learning, guys. Bye.